congratulations, a point in the Premier League. How did that feel like and was it a good point for you? I felt amazing and yes it was a good point for me because my aim of the game before I went up there was to try and not lose. So even though I got the draw, I'm so happy with that and I got a point. I mean, it's the first one who's playing it and I got a point. I'm so tough. How did that compare to the World Championships? Was it because you looked slightly more nervous on stage tonight than you did at the Worlds? Um, I was a bit like curious a little bit because obviously like the Worlds is set play and obviously this is like legs. So I was a bit like dubious how like it was going to go and stuff like that, but I felt like I was all right and I thought I had a good performance. It's been an absolute whirlwind since the World Championships for yourself. Is it now some time to reflect before the year can open and take in everything that you've achieved? Yeah, it's definitely been so busy since Worlds. And yeah, now I'm going to sit there and take the time to reflect on everything that's happened and just enjoy it now. Can you look back with great memories of what you've achieved so far this year? Yeah, definitely. Every every moment that I've had at the moment, I'm just going to look back and just think, oh, it was just an amazing experience and it's going to be experiences that I'm always going to remember for, like, ever now. Just looking back at the game, is there a slight disappointment that you haven't gone on and won it from 6-4 up? Um, I, I can't really remember now. Um, but I, I'm not disappointed. I mean, like I said, I've got six legs. I didn't lose, so I'm really happy with that. And I mean, if Glenn had probably missed his doubles, I felt so comfortable and confident that I'd take mine out. But that's another day, really, isn't it? Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Well, and it must have been amazing, especially that uh, seventh leg, where you went 140, 137, 132, 92, breaking 12. What, <laughs> that was the most unbelievable moment. And then, obviously, you wanted to try and capitalise on that moment. That's what I take it as well. Yeah, so after that leg, I was like, I felt like the adrenaline go in and all that, and then my scoring didn't keep up to that. But I just kept going and just kept going and just tried to keep in with it, and I felt I did okay. Go 135 to leave uh, 46 to make you went 64. And when you've hit that double, have you ever heard a noise in darts like that? <laughs> Um, yes, when I played at the World Champs. <laughs> That's a very good point. So, um, yeah, I was. I was used to hearing that and it just made me feel so comfortable up there and I appreciate all the support that I got. Looking ahead, I've looked at the heads up the UK Open because you qualified now through the body qualified. That's just another amazing step for ladies darts. Yourself, Liz Rashton will be playing alongside you as well there. It'll be fantastic for you. Yeah, I, I'm so looking forward to the UK Open and the fact that me and Lisa are now representing the ladies darts in it. I mean, it's just amazing the fact that us two women can now compete against the men and hopefully win a couple of games and just show you what we can do. And just last one quickly for me, how excited are you for the uh, World Series? Obviously the New York picks have come out today, but we knew you would be there. How excited are you for going around the world and playing? Incredibly? I'm so excited. I can't wait. I, I'm literally so excited. I'm like, yeah, I want to be there now. I want to play. <laughs> we'll see you in the UK. Thank you. Thank you. Alan, you've been playing a number of exhibitions leading up to this. How have you managed to find your A game? Um, I think with the exhibitions and stuff like that, it's always like helping me because obviously I'm used to like the crowds and being up on the stage and all that. So I think it's helping me play my A game against these top men and they're pushing me every time. So I'm really looking forward to everything that I'm going to, the opportunities I'm going to get now. And being up on the stage, do you think uh, Glenn was actually nervous? When was it called? Um, I see it. I think he must have been a little bit nervous because I've never seen Glenn miss that many doubles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally, do you think this should be a women's tournament set up now? Um, I mean, if there was a women's tournament, I'd happily like support it and stuff like that. I mean, us women can compete against men, so if we just had more opportunities, I'm sure that'd be enough. But obviously, if they put on a tour as well, that'd be great. Fallon, congratulations. And how did the atmosphere up there compare to Alexandra Palace tonight? Oh, it was amazing. Obviously, there was like 8,000 people yeah. there, but yeah, it was just amazing. And I, I loved every minute of it, and it felt like I was back at the World Championships, and it, yeah, it was just incredible. It was an amazing couple of weeks for you at Ali Pali, but since then you've now qualified for the UK Open, got a point in the Premier League. Does that show that you're here to stay and you're not a one-hit wonder at all? Um, I'm hoping I can prove that to people now. I've, obviously, if I can uh, keep increasing my game now and if I can compete against these men week in, week out, I mean, who's to say that like, the sky's the limit, do you know what I mean? Definitely, and obviously we've seen Lisa get a tour card to qualify for all last month. Now you the World Championships in the Premier League. Do you think women's darts in the strongest place it's ever been? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously the women's darts is as strong as what it's ever been. So hopefully now we get more opportunities to show how strong we can be. Thank you. Thank you.